Hey there, welcome to Scribeware training video number one. We're just going to go over starting a home inspection report. This is pretty rudimentary stuff, but uh, nice to see how it works. Uh, so I'll assume that you've gotten to the point where you have the Scribeware icon uh, on your computer. Uh, this is the old version. This is Scribeware 4 that we'll be using here. So we're going to double click on that to open the software. Uh, opens right up. We're going to create a new report here. So that's the upper right down here is where you'll find all of your old reports uh, and you can open up an old report here. Uh, so we call this sort of the home page, but we'll create a new report here. And boom. So now we can type in our client name. do one for Michael Jordan today you can put your agent name and if you put the emails in when you're done uh, over here on this side you'll see publish so when you're done with the report we'll go over this in another video but you can publish it and you can just send the link of the report directly to your client and agent um, so obviously this is where you just put the property address in um, inspection type is where you can choose what type of inspection you're doing so the default is single family that's most of our work you can do a full condo an interior only condo uh, duplex triplex fourplex multiplex we'll discuss uh, doing uh, multiplexes and using scribeware for commercial buildings and stuff in another video uh, helpful things that come up a lot for home inspectors, uh, itemized limited inspections, so you get asked to do just a roof or a crawl space. Uh, itemized re-inspection, uh, going back to inspect a handful of items. Uh, the verbal pre-inspection is really just for getting your contract signed, and we'll go over that in another video, uh, and also a template for doing a consultation. Uh, so a neat thing about Scribeware is you can either not do a pest inspection. Right now this is, is not including a pest inspection. If you like to do a, either a standalone pest inspection or embed a pest inspection within your report, uh, you can just check that box. Uh, if you're in Washington State, you're required to have an ICN number. Uh, so this and it automatically remembers the last ICN number you used and then adds one to it so you don't have to remember your ICN number, which is nice. Uh, this report URL, when you have published it, there will be a link here uh, and that's you know where your report will exist up in the cloud. Um, let's see, we can just for invoice items, inspection with digital report. And we put in a fee. Uh, and then if the client paid, you can just check that box and say that they paid with a check. Um, so now you've gotten your whole um, sort of client and property information page filled out. This is where you put the cover page in. Uh, this is an old inspection I did, so I do want to show you how you connect your, your, your pictures to the home inspection report. So um, you can actually close this little photo bar there um, with with this icon right here we'll open up the photo bar and then where it says media that's going to connect you to your pictures folder on your computer so this box comes up you can see pictures here on the left we want to click on that and that's going to get us access uh, so I, I like to have um, one folder per uh, inspection that I've done and, and I try to organize that when I'm downloading uh, the photos uh, for this uh, sample video here I, I made uh, a sample simple house so we'll click on that one you can see it's highlighted we're gonna say select folder and that's going to connect that entire folder of images to this report so it's easy to use uh, once you use one you get a little check mark you can see that I had actually used this one once so it's got a check mark but we'll just drag it in here uh, and I just you know uh, clicked on it with the mouse to just pull it in uh, and it's that easy to Im import photos into your report so uh, anyway that kind of gets you uh, caught up here on uh, how we're all ready to do an inspection report now we've got our client and property information page filled out we got our cover page on here uh, and the next video will go over uh, making observations thanks for watching